Hello everyone, this is uh, Rahul. Now I'm going to bring before you the review of Lay TV Lay 1S. Actually, the name of the company has been changed to Lay Eco. Although the branding you can see is Lay TV right now, the company has not changed the branding on the phone. Obviously, it is an old stock as you can guess from here. Now, talking about the box contents, there is a phone box which contains adapter it is obviously a quick charging adapter it is uh, it has been rated at 2.7 ampere and 12 volt so it is a fast charging adapter you can see it is very huge normally bigger than the adapters that you get in other phones and it can contains a cable and you can see it's a type c port cable that means lay tv lay eco or lay tv whatever you say it it, it supports type C cable OTG support is also there but you will definitely need a type C adapter so that you can use your pen drives or OTG cables with it now talking about other box contents there are obviously few user guides manuals etc nothing much we'll keep it aside and we'll talk about phone so here is LTV Lay 1S Talking about the design and build quality, its design is obviously great, great for the price point at which it is available, 10,999. It's a great design considering it's a full metal body and the fingerprint sensor that you can see here has been given a nice mirror design. So this is also attractive, this seems attractive and uh, obviously it has got a very good design. I'm not sure about the durability of the handset because I've not tested anything like drop test or scratch test etc but right now when you will keep this phone in hand it will feel awesome. Let's see the fingerprint scanner. It works, I won't say it works very fast but yes you can use it. Actually it's a budget device so you cannot expect much from it but yeah it, it works fast as far as normal uses are concerned. Now talking about the user interface this is the main point because uh, most of the Chinese smartphone makers have changed the Android operating system they provide their own skin over it so talking about the user interface it's not it's not that attractive as you can see on Asus Zen phones or you can see on Xiaomi devices there are not many personalized options also because uh, when you click it you can see there are only three options widgets themes and wallpapers and you cannot change much you can change the wallpapers you can change the themes not more customizations but yes there has been one customization that is different from the rest of the mobile manufacturers you can see when you drop down this menu you will see only notification panel here there are no options given here in the notification panel when you hit this recent key you will get the toggles here You'll get your recent apps here which you can obviously swipe up and close or you can swipe down and lock so this has been changed as uh, you compare it with other devices this this is one thing which which has been changed now i have been using this device for a week and i will give you honest reviews what, what how this device performs what you can expect from this device i've installed so many apps what i have seen is that the battery support is good actually you can uh, spend a whole day on on a single charge in fact if you are normal to heavy user but you are if you are playing so many games graphic intensity games then you will have to charge it twice because uh, it's only 3000 mAh battery but here you can see it 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 supports quick charging as i have shown you already it supports quick charging with this adapter so you can charge this device in an hour almost from 0 to 100 percent or even if you are using some times in between the charge it will maximum take one hour and 30 minutes for full charge so this was about its design its user interface now let's uh, talk about the, perf the spe specifications it, cons it consists of a 2.2 gigahertz octa core processor so you can expect high performance from this device but there is one problem the device heats a bit actually 2.2 gigahertz octa core processor is there but 
at the same time there is a full aluminium body so since it is a metal device so metal conducts heat better in a better way so you can expect it uh, heating up to 45 to 50 degrees centigrade if you are using it heavily so this is what i found and it doesn't heat up uh, you cannot you cannot predict its nature that means i have used it um, i was playing games sometimes but it it hits abnormally you cannot predict that uh, when it will heat it hits abnormally i think some software optimizations are needed to resolve this problem so this was regarding heating because uh, many complaints have been there uh, for this device that it heats up too much but i will say that if you're if you need performance if you need a device which is obviously it, it clocks at a speed of 2.2 gigahertz so for this device if it heats a bit it's okay so I will suggest, suggest it's not a deal breaker at all now talking about the performance performance is very fluid you can see either you're scrolling between the home screens or you are launching any apps it's super fast the apps launch instantly because uh, obviously it, cons it, it, it consists of a MediaTek Helio X10 processor and uh, 3 GB RAM. Talking about RAM uses, out of 3 GB RAM you will find 1.2 to 1.3 GB RAM will be free most of the times. If you open 4 to 5 apps it will come down to 900 MB. But it, you won't be facing any sort of problems regarding RAM uses. You can do multitasking at an ease with this device. So I've talked about uh, performance, I've talked about everything. Let's talk about the camera quality. The camera quality is uh, very bad in low lighting conditions. You can't expect much. But this is the case with most of the budget devices. You can't expect much from the budget devices in low lighting conditions. Uh, but if you, if you go to broad daylight and uh, if you click the pictures, pictures come out to be very good from this device. Now let me show you. A sample of the picture that I've clicked you can see this picture has been clicked in an outdoor condition it consists of a lot of detail the picture quality is very clear so you can expect good photos in daylight but don't expect good photos in in normal lighting conditions in indoor conditions talking about uh, the display the display is pretty amazing actually I found it to be of the same quality outdoors as I was using it indoors if you if you put the brightness to maximum and if you're using it outdoors you won't find any loss in details on the screen and talking about the bezels although you can see bezels here it looks like uh, it is a bezel-less device but let me change the wallpaper to show you the exact thickness of the bezels obviously bezels are there so you can see here the black borders around this blue wallpaper you can see this is the thickness of bezels um, in this device it's almost one millimeter I one to two millimeters I guess uh, so this is all about this device I've talked about uh, almost everything I don't want to go deep into the specs because you can find the specs on the net I will tell you the pros and cons in sort the pros is uh, it's nice display fast charging capability type C port nice metallic design a fingerprint sensor on the back these are the pros talking about the cons this uh, UI is a big con in fact here it is a big negative point EUI I really don't like this EUI design there are not many customizations into it then talking about another con is its heating problem the rear part of the device heats a bit so that is a con and obviously its camera its camera does not perform up to the mark in low lighting conditions so these are the cons and pros that I've talked about that's all for now Thank you.